Hello Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. We're going to do another reading to see who is coming towards you, why are they coming towards you, and what is hidden, so be sure to stick around if you are interested in that. As always, you guys, be sure to hit that like button. It's a great way to support the channel, and I just want to say thank you to all of you who have subscribed, um, hit the like button, turn post notifications on, and... You know, converse in the comments because you guys are a major reason for why the channel continues to grow. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Apparel is on sale, 10% off until November 19th for Pisces. So be sure to check that out, you guys. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and get into this reading. Please keep in mind that the messages are being viewed by a majority of the collective that are going through different situations. So every message may not be for you. However, the messages that are for you are going to jump out and smack you in the face like a fish market aroma, okay? And if they don't jump out and smack you in the face, then that's probably not your message. There are messages that jump out that resonate with you in favor of your opinion, but there can also be messages that jump out to you that are not in favor of your opinion and may be in favor of someone else, but that's for the individual to examine. So I hope that you guys are able to look at this reading objectively. Let's go ahead and see for Pisces, okay? Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, Father, Mother, God for Pisces. Who or what is coming towards Pisces at this time? Let's just go with who. They said clarify that. So who? Yeah, the Empress. So it could be a Taurus, could be a Libra, could be a Virgo. Um, this person could be your mother coming towards you. Your child could be coming towards you. Um, this could be a woman who is a business figure or someone who's in some type of business where they are extremely um, abundant or successful. This is a woman coming towards you guys, okay? This Empress energy. We have the Ace of Swords at the bottom and the Sun. So whoever this person is, is coming towards you to provide some type of clarity or truth. We're going to ask why, but I feel like it's to provide some type of clarity or truth. Or this is an honest woman if you are a mother this could be your son coming towards you okay your son could be a leo or gemini libra aquarius you may be the taurus virgo i'm getting capricorn as well maybe libra in your chart you could have leo in your chart or air too it doesn't matter but you know we're not gonna focus on the signs i just feel like this is a an established woman <laughs> Ooh, excuse me, breakfast. This is an established woman, okay? This woman is a really good mother or has very nurturing qualities if they don't have children. Um, this is a truthful woman. This is someone who is, this is a genuinely happy woman. This woman is also very connected, I feel like, to spirituality and open to different topics regarding spirituality, okay? Why is this Empress coming towards Pisces? The Magician, okay. So maybe they want to create something with you. This woman could be someone who's in a business field in which you are involved, and they may want to create something with you. This could be just... um. A situation where they may want to talk to you about what you think or your opinion on situations. Okay. This woman could be coming towards you to impart some type of wisdom. I definitely feel like she has the objective of truth and clarity. Enlightenment with the Ace of Swords that we saw in that Sun card. Okay. And then we have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. Um... They could be coming towards you because of a Gemini or a Leo. I'm getting Gemini and Leo.
This may be someone who wants to fight for a cause with you. Or stand behind your position on a certain topic or subject. Okay. Now I'm going to just pick three cards to see what's hidden. What you may not see from the situation. Okay. That was the first one. What else does Pisces not see in the situation? Okay. Two, three. There we go. We'll flip those over in a little bit. Okay. Y'all be sure to like, share, and subscribe. So first, before we flip these over, I'm going to clarify the Empress and the Magician, okay? But from what's hidden, the Queen of Swords is here with the Two of Swords. Interesting. It's something, something about this situation that you don't, you maybe don't see all the details about, and this this Empress energy is going to bring you the details about a situation where things may have been unclear or where you may have been denied in denial about a situation. Maybe this, this woman could also be coming to you for advice regarding a situation that they're going through, but you may be telling this person that they're in denial. I feel like this energy of denial about a situation, okay? Somebody may be in denial of the truth. Or they wanna show you the truth that you were unable to see. giving you some type of clarity. Like for example, this could be your mother coming towards you to tell you something about your childhood or your past that you did not know. And this could be because they feel like you're being manipulated. They may feel like you're being manipulated in situations or you're being blocked from certain situations because you don't have all the information, okay? They're definitely coming to give you information. And I feel like it's a woman. I feel like for a lot of you, it could be your mother. If your mother has passed on, this could literally be your mother coming to you like in a dream. Um, this could also be someone coming to you to let you know, not that you've been manipulated, but that you have the power to like stand up for yourself or defend yourself in a situation. This could be a lawyer, a doctor, some type of judicial figure. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting that, but if it kind of feels like someone who's telling you your rights or telling you what rights that you have so that you can stand up for yourself in a situation. Or telling you like the rules of a particular uh, group or organization, like they're, they're giving you the 411. Okay. I really do feel like this is information you need, right? Be so that you can do something or so that you can protect yourself or that you, so so that you can have clarity. What's this empress? The Pisces, what is the Empress? Justice. See, that's what I'm saying. I knew it. So this could be a lawyer. I'm really getting strong like Libra, Virgo, Taurus energy, the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so this woman is coming to bring you some type of justice or they're coming to give you information that's going to help balance out a situation. Mm-hmm. Or they're taking action towards justice. They're taking action towards fighting for a cause. They may want to rally your support on a specific cause or confirm if you are supporting a cause. I don't know. This could have been like the people coming around if you're in the United States asking you, are you going to vote? Um, but we have the King of Cups and the Three of Cups.
I don't know. It's like, I feel like someone doesn't want to participate in a group activity. Someone is isolating themselves. This could be you or this could be a cancer. Um, this could be your sibling, cousin, friend. I feel like this could be a, if it's you, this person is a friend who's coming towards you. Okay. This could just be someone who wants to celebrate with you. They may want to go out, have drinks. And I feel like it's either a friend or a cousin, maybe a sibling. This could be someone who just wants to get you out the house because they feel like you need to get out the house. Okay. But on other levels, I also feel like this could be like a lawyer or someone involved in legalities or administering justice, fighting for justice. And they don't like the way something is happening or they don't like the way that maybe you're handling a situation. They want you to see what you're not seeing so that you can more accurately discern the situation. That message is a little hazy, so I don't know if that's for everybody. I more so feel like this is a person who's coming towards you because they want to go out. And they either feel like you need it or they feel like they need it. And I feel like it's just a friendship type of thing. Okay. What's the magician? Yeah, three of cups. See what I'm saying? They some Because they want to go out with you. Okay. Now, for my masculine energies, this could be someone who does want to date you. They feel like you're who they want. You're who that they see as someone who they would want to be with. But they may feel like you don't want to be with them, especially if you're a Pisces masculine or a Pisces male. They may feel like you don't really want to be with them or you really don't want to date them or maybe they don't know. But there's definitely... Um, there's, I feel like there's definitely a strategy with this magician. And the sun is coming up. So I definitely feel like this is a situation, Pisces, where you're going to receive some type of clarity or information about a certain subject that this person is talking about. So whether it's like activism or like a legal case, or some type of government affair that you are dealing with. Or it's just something going on in their love life, their dating life. I feel like they want to come and consult with you about it or talk to you about it. Where either you are the person who is giving the advice or they are the person who's giving you the advice. This could be a friend feeling like they've been manipulated by someone and they need your advice. What's the magician for Pisces? Yeah, Knight of Swords. There's definitely a conversation. I feel like there could also be some type of travel or movement. Like you guys could be going to a bar, lounge. Um, one of you could be traveling to the other one's house, having drinks. I definitely see that you guys are pouring drinks cheersing toasting all of that type of stuff i feel like someone is telling you that another person's manipulation did not work and they need advice on how to move forward or they want your advice in the next stage of whatever is going on yeah two of wands yeah, they want to know what decision you've made. So for the masculines, it's totally different. I feel like for the masculines, somebody wants to date you 
or they want advice on dating from you, which is similar to the feminine energy. But for the masculines, I really feel like it's more, more so someone who wants to talk about maybe dating or talk about going out. They may ask you to go out. They may ask, do you want to accompany them to a particular location? And I feel like as the masculine, you have to decide whether or not you're going to stay home or go. Like, I feel like it's really simple. Um, but I also feel like for the feminine energies, like, I don't know. I do feel like this is a situation where there's a woman coming towards you to ask you what you feel like the right thing would be to do in a situation. Now, you could have reached out to them and said, I need your advice, but I feel like they're more so reaching out to you. I also feel like this person may be a little angry about things that are going on in their life, but I don't think they're angry at you. I feel like they're coming towards you because they know that you're going to give them good advice and that you're going to be objective and that you know how to maneuver situations somehow. So it's like they want to try to strategize a plan. So that's why I said it could be some type of activism. What's hidden is the Ace of Cups. The Hermit. Yeah, Virgo. I'm getting strong Virgo, Libra, and Taurus energy. Wow. And the High Priestess. So the Ace of Cups, the Hermit, and the High Priestess. So there's definitely a secret here or some type of secret information, hidden information. Um, information that you don't know. Maybe this is somebody's personal business that they're just going to tell you and you don't know about it yet because they haven't told anybody and they need your advice. They need to figure out like what's the right thing to do. Um, for the feminine energies, I also feel... I, I mean, shit, fuck it. Masculine or feminine, any of the storylines that I said could be your situation... Somebody could even be coming towards you because they feel like you're and you they could be coming towards you because you feel like you are the epitome of the person that they would want to date or be with. Or they're coming towards you because they feel like you're the epitome of a person who gives good advice. Um, and third option is someone who's coming towards you because they want to help you fight some type of cause or they're giving you information to fight a cause, or they need your help fighting some type of cause. I just feel like people see you as someone, Pisces, who gives good judgment. Okay. Uh, with the Hermit, the Ace of Cups, and the High Priestess, I feel like what's hidden from you is that you don't really see that, you don't really see or understand how much People really value your opinion. They value your judgment um, because they feel like you're very intuitive and knowledgeable of things that are unseen. And they also feel like you look at situations from a higher perspective and come from a place of love and good intentions. So whether they're wanting to date you or just know what you think, um, that's why this person or these people are coming towards you. Again, the signs that I see most prevalently, I feel like the strongest sign that I see coming towards you is a Virgo. I also feel possible Libra along with possible Taurus and possible Gemini. I don't see Aquarius. I don't really see Capricorn, even though I said it earlier. Somebody may have Capricorn like in their chart somewhere that's not as strongly affected right now. But I don't see Capricorn as much, although it could be a possibility. I definitely don't necessarily, I, I don't necessarily see Aquarius right now. But like in terms of sun signs, I feel like this is a person who has sun in Virgo, sun in Libra, sun in Taurus, or sun in Gemini. Okay. Wow, the moon. I also said Cancer earlier. I did say Cancer. So someone's moon sign could be Gemini. Someone's moon sign could be Cancer. I feel like it's just a Virgo sun, though. It's either a Virgo, Taurus, or Libra sun. And Gemini, Capricorn. Aquarius. 
could be like the moon signs, like the air sign. There's a moon air sign or something like that. I don't know. Because there's definitely air signs here. We have the Queen of Swords and the Two of Swords. It's like this person feels like you're a great source of advice. Because you see what other people refuse to see. Or you see what other people ignore in a situation. I feel like this whole situation is about people's choices with the lovers. Emotional choices or choices that are based on fear. Fear-based choices. Okay, so what's this Ace of Cups that's hidden? The Ace of Pentacles. Wow. What else is the Ace of Cups with this Ace of Pentacles? Three of Swords. I feel like someone feels trapped in a position of limbo. Like they don't know what to do to move forward. I definitely feel like someone is hurt. Wow, and then the Ace of Cups is at the bottom and the King of Pentacles. Okay. So there's definitely some emotion or love involved. Matters of the heart in this situation that are hidden. Someone could definitely feel like they lost the opportunity for love with the person who they saw as like their person. Or this could be someone who feels that they'll never find love because of the person that they want being like maybe married or involved. Someone could be telling you about a third party situation. I'm just saying it because the three of cups and the three of swords. It's like someone chose to go down the path of love, but they're torn between maybe new love and old love or something like that. I don't know. It's like someone wants to be in love. Someone wants to have the opportunity to be with someone that they really love, that someone that really takes care of them, someone that really nurtures them, someone who is equal to them and not, you know, with any type of imbalance in the relationship but I also feel like they want to be with someone from their past or it's like it's like a limbo like someone is stuck between two options like torn in between the two three of, three of pentacles three of wands I feel like someone is asking for your advice about a situation in their relationship because they're trying to figure out if they should move on or continue hoping for some type of change. I feel like Pisces, they, they ask you this advice because they respect you, like I said earlier. But I feel like you're going to tell this person that however they move forward is their choice. But I feel like you're going to get them to realize that waiting on someone to show you that they appreciate how much your worth is not the best move. Like, I feel like you're going to tell somebody, like, if they ask you, well, oh, this person, I don't know if they're cheating on me or I don't know if this is going on behind my back or I don't know if they're married. I don't know if they're serious. I feel like the advice that you're going to tell this person is balanced and objective from a higher perspective and from experience to know what the best advice should be. And you're going to give them that advice, which is probably going to be, that they should focus on moving forward, being independent and free of anything that's holding them down or anything that is independent and free of anything that's basically like keeping them stuck. You're all about freedom, Pisces. That's, that's your main goal. So I feel like that's what you're going to tell this person is to free themselves from the mental like anguish of a situation and see it from a different perspective. Okay, the world wanted to come out. But what's the hermit? 
the Four of Swords. Okay. If this is somebody who wants to date you, I feel like this is a person, what's hidden, what you don't know, is that they want new love, but I feel like they're scared with this Three of Swords because they've either been cheated on or they've been hurt in the past and they want new love and they feel like they want it with you, but they're afraid that they're going to be hurt again. Okay. Seven of Swords and the world. Okay. I also feel like someone has been getting information on you online or they've been watching you online. I feel like they've been getting information about who you are online. So that's why they feel like um, that you're very educated with your advice. It's like somebody found you online. It's like, I, I kind of feel like somebody watches you online or they found you online. I don't know what you do, but it definitely seems like uh, a, somebody has been getting information on you behind the scenes. You, you know, maybe you didn't know that they were doing this research on you. What else is the hermit? Seven of Cups. Someone's not talking because they're confused or they're trying to make a decision about what's the right way to go about doing something. Okay, yeah, there's the high priestess again. Somebody wants to work with you. I just would say remember your worth in this situation, Pisces, because whoever this person is, I feel like they do uh, respect you, but... I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't see anything wrong with the reading. I just feel like somebody is confused about what to do or they're confused about what their dreams mean or what their prayers mean. They don't know. They could also be confused about you because you're not talking. Somebody could want to find out who else you're working with or who else you're dating or who else you're dealing with, like behind the scenes. It's like somebody wants to know what you're working on, what you're building behind the scenes, what you're hiding behind the scenes or what you have hidden I feel like you're expecting this, so maybe you already know um, that this person wants to converse with you, but <laughs> excuse me. I just feel like someone has been trying to in interpret their dreams and they don't know what it means. So they feel like it would be best to work with you. Or they're trying to interpret a situation and figure out a situation. And they feel like you would have the expertise to do so. But they need to figure out if they can trust you. I really feel like someone's trying to figure out if they could trust you um, with this information. Um, on, on the flip side, some of you are in, having this encounter because someone already has done that research. And they feel like they can trust you. They feel like they can trust what you say and take the information and insight that you give them seriously. What's the high priestess here? Four of cups. What else is the high priestess? Two of cups. Yeah, so this person feels like you may not want to talk to them. Like they secretly... This is this is what's hidden, like for real. Let 
Like there's some type of secret insecurity. They feel like you're not going to want to talk to them because of what they did in the past or what happened in the past. So they could want to talk about this third party situation. Either this is someone telling you about their third party relationship, you know, maybe dealing with someone who's already in a relationship, being a third party and not knowing about it. What should I do? Okay. This could be you talking to another person about it. And they feel like you shouldn't deal with the third party. Like if you keep talking about it to this person, they basically their opinion on it and their stance on it is that you shouldn't be dealing with shit that isn't of your highest good. So they're going to probably tell you that you need to leave whatever situation you're in alone. If it's you that's dealing with a third party or you that's dealing with dating and not being able to trust people. It doesn't have to be a third party. It could just be dating and not being able to trust people, like meeting new people all the time, feeling like you're meeting new people and it just doesn't work out. Knight of Cups and the Queen of Cups. I feel like it's more so accurate this way. I definitely feel like there's a conversation. Someone else to have a conversation. This could be someone who's younger than you. Or their soul or their spirit is younger than yours, less evolved, less uh, ascended. And they either feel like you don't want to talk to them or depending on the situation, they feel like you should stop dealing with whoever you've been dealing with that's been making you disappointed. Someone feels like you may be bored of them or that you're going to get bored of their conversation I feel like they purposefully don't tell you everything because they want to see how you're going to respond authentically or see what it is that they that you already know from what they're saying. Like someone who doesn't tell you all the details because they want to know if you're going to figure out what they're not saying. Y'all hear these cats. This is kind of confusing. So I definitely feel like there's different situations for each of you guys. But I, 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 for real, I feel like this is a conversation about the progression of a relationship, either yours or someone else's. Or this is a conversation about some type of activism, taking action or seeking justice, either in a legal sense or like a social community sense. And because you're quiet, I feel like people are trying to figure out what your stance is or what your position is and how you feel about a situation. Because they want your advice, but they're not sure like where you're going to place yourself in terms of your position. It's like someone offering you their opinion or their feelings on a situation because they want to know your opinions and feelings on a situation. Like they're offering you their information so that you can give them information. I hope that helps because it's kind of crazy. Like I feel like it's, I feel like it's really simple to be honest with you. Cause it's a bunch of minor arcana. The only majors are you, the high priestess, this Virgo hermit energy, the magician, and the justice with the Empress. I mean, there's major arcanas here, but clarifying the major arcanas are not like major arcanas, you know? So I do feel like someone is going through a major change in their life. They're going through a pretty substantial change in their life, or you're going through a pretty substantial change in your life about how people view you, okay? But it's like, even though substantial changes are happening, it's more like involving substantial changes with mundane things that you do on a regular basis or decisions that you, that affect your everyday life. Okay. So we have humor. Yeah. Laugh a bit. 
Yeah, so, and, and that's what I was getting in the beginning. It kind of feels like someone just wants to cheer you up. We have guarded and the grass was fake. So there was some type of disappointment. That's what I feel with this three of swords. There was some type of disappointment in a career opportunity or some type of disappointment when it comes to um, a business that someone loves and invests in emotionally. Um, or there was some type of loss when it comes to like a relationship. And I feel like you want to cheer someone up or someone wants to cheer you up. Okay, we have Muse. Yeah, you're an in, you're inspirational to someone. That's what I feel. So either there's someone who feels like you're inspirational and they want your opinion on whatever topic that they're concerned about. And it's like maybe an activism thing or something like that. Or this is like a friend or a family member who wants to talk to you about how they feel in regards to your situation or their situation and you give them advice or this is someone who wants to date you who feels very inspired by you they want to kind of let your guard down make you laugh because they really feel rejected by you or they know that they rejected you and they regret it okay we have sexual fantasies and blockages so somebody's definitely having some um, coitus-related setbacks. <laughs> mm, interesting. That's kind of crazy. Like, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Like, the energy is really exhausting. Like, it's not even that, like, crazy a situation going on. But it's like, I feel like there's a lot of like thinking. There's a lot of brain power that's being used by people right now. And it's really a lot. So whatever's coming towards you, Pisces, I honestly, I must be honest with you. I feel like it's good. It's coming towards you because of action that you've taken. And this is the, the equally balanced and fair result that the universe is giving you. This could literally be just empress level status within your own life because of actions that you took that were fair. Sparking conversations to bring people together and create some type of semblance of equality and camaraderie and teamwork amongst people. I feel like a lot of you who are spiritual practitioners, you really don't understand how many people look to you for advice and guidance. And they really do appreciate what it is you have to say. That's something that I have to remember. And that's why I love going through and reading your comments, you guys, and putting a little heart. I wish I could respond to all of them. But I try to catch as many as I can. I know there's some that I miss. But I really do want you guys to know that I appreciate you participating in the conversation. And that helps me to remember how impactful what I'm doing is so that I don't get set back or I don't get discouraged. And I feel like this is kind of something like that for you. It's like, even if it's just friends or family or people who you've come up with, grown up with, people who you work with, people who know your character, whoever it is, whether it's on a small, medium, or large scale. I feel like you should take from this reading that you are extremely inspirational and you're inspiring people on a level that you, I don't think you really fathom and understand. Okay. That's why I get so passionate about us keeping our power in situations. There's so much control these days from, you know, different entities and energies that don't want people to be free speakers and free thinkers. I feel like that's the only thing that's going to solve the problems that we have within our society and within the world. I know I posed that question to you guys, but I really feel like the only way to create world peace, which does not mean that nothing ever happens that's negative. That's not world peace. World peace is having balance between the negative and the positive. And I feel like there's too much negative and not enough positive. There needs to be more masculinity. There needs to be more influence. 
But I feel like people, if they're able to freely speak and think freely, I feel like we'll have a lot of advancement. Okay. So what is the advice for Pisces, guardian angels? Okay, you got a lot, Pisces. First one, your advice says go with the flow. So just take it easy. Don't take the bait. The lovers and temptation. Wow. So I do feel like there are some, there are some of you who this is a person who wants to date you. This is a person who wants to date you and they're coming towards you because they feel like you're the best candidate for them to have as a relationship partner. You're being advised to go with the flow, but do not get tempted to, I feel, have intercourse with this person or coitus. I don't think you should have intercourse with this person because they have been having sexual fantasies about you but they're blocked from being able to fulfill those fantasies. So I don't know if you, I, I just feel like if you want people to take you seriously, you just can't be, you just can't immediately be, you know, courtesying it all up over the place. Like you have to allow them to take you serious by being serious about the situation. Now, if you're not serious, then I don't know. I just feel like this is going to be somebody who you're very attracted to who is going to put things in your ear, but I do feel like that could also be a problem even if you want open relationships or even if you're just dating, this person may try to like get in your head. That's what I feel. Somebody wants to get in your head, period, but it's either a situation where they want to get in your head because they appreciate and respect your advice and they know that you're a very trustworthy source for uh advice on their topics or you give good takes on situations and that's why they want to get in your head. But I also feel like this kind of lurking look more lower vibrational energy of someone who's trying to get in your head so that they can have sex with you. Okay. Creation and darkness. So this is about whatever you are creating right now. You don't see where it's going, but I feel like you have a lot more influence than you think. So I hope you guys enjoy the message. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe as always. Get your apparel 10% off until the 19th of November. And Pisces, remember, this is our circle booze. Bye.